Got gotcha. you. Green, kick us off for the next topic. Ah, so after two weeks, we see the value in wide receivers heavily outweighing running backs. And it's funny you put this as a topic. I didn't read this beforehand because my hot take has been for the last three days that we will see a wide receiver go number one overall in fantasy next year. And I just think the zero running back strategy is off to a phenomenal start. Yeah. So um, we got, you know, John Taylor at 7.3 fantasy points last week. CMC at 18. Saquon 11.8. Eckler 18.4. Javante Williams 9.5. Najee, 13.9. Mixon, 11.3. Um, all in the top two rounds. Yep. And then you also add in Dalvin Cook uh, from Monday night, who played like trash. You know, there's just a lot of backs that are just... It seems the move is now uh, more heavily onto the wide receivers and even quarterbacks. I mean, we are strongly against driving quarterbacks in the first round. We've made our fame on that. Absolutely. But um, through the first couple of weeks... There's no running back in the top 10 in points per game. Zero. So you have to take take it into equation of, you know, is it still a running back league or is it moving over? Joe Green's been on this train for a while, so that's why I let him read it. I think it's totally yeah, that's, it's it's moving to an offensive lead where wide receivers and QBs. Um, and not just that, multiple teams have double running backs. Mm-hmm. Um, you look at the Jets, Hall, and Carter. You look at the... Um, Jadwires, they have uh, Robinson and ETN, um, Packers, Dylan and Jones. Multiple teams have double running backs, which some of them are good enough to have both uh, running backs be top 30, and then others, which I like the Jets, I don't think they're both going to be top 30. So um, it's interesting to see how it goes forward. I think it's going to continue to be um, a wide receiver league, especially with the uh, Teams airing it out. Um, offensively, um, penalties are going against the defense for pass interference, roughing the passer. Um, so the lead's going soft. So there's no better reason to push for wide receivers. Yep. It, it's funny because the fantasy is starting to catch up with real life, right? Running backs have been undervalued now for, I don't know, four or five years, right? Like you almost never see a running back on the first round. And fantasy, we're starting to see that impact. And I think. If this continues this year, the zero running back strategy will be the only strategy. Like everyone's going to be doing this wide receiver, Cooper Cup first overall, and then Justin Jefferson, and then you'll see like three running backs maybe on the first round. But well, obviously it has to continue. It's off to a great start, but that yeah. can change very quickly. Yeah, I just wrote it down as something to keep an eye on, especially going forward because I know Joe Green has has been on that train, and this year I started to hop on that train, so. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where this train takes us.